right, hello folks, it's your old pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences bringing another x Lights release. It's 2021.30, and that's right folks, myself, the Oracles, and Dion Warwick was absolutely spot on when they said it come out today, and today it has. What? Well, well, unless you're in Australia, then I guess it came out tomorrow. I can't keep up with the time zone thing. Let's get into this. Some cool things have come out. So much thanks to the development team for their efforts in making x Lights great again. Well, it's always been great, but it's fun to say that, isn't it? Isn't it? Here's some things we're going to talk about. Uh, enhancements, enhancements, enhancements. These are the things I'm really going to focus on. But there is one bug fix that really deserves a round of applause, and that is Mr. Scott Hansen's fixed duplicate models added to groups on import or downloading. I'm gonna show you this. This is brilliant. As you know, we've had some issues with uh, duplicate model, submodel groups, just sort of just creating and growing and growing and growing in these groups to the point that X-Lights would sort of just freeze on you. So I said, hey, hold up. Hold up, don't create a whole lot of submodel groups with these high density props. Just wait for dot 30. And the smart folks, well, you've done it. And now it's okay to use dot 30 and create as many as you would like for this. Go for it. It works. And I'll prove it. But let's start here at the top. This enhancement that Mr. Dan Culp add Mr. and Mrs. Claus Christmas trees, gifts, emojis, all this stuff is like, whoa, wait a minute, hold on. So I did a drive-through uh, sequence a few years ago and I used a bunch of emojis in that on the matrix and it looked really cool and it ended up in my store as well. And so let's look at this and there's a cool few things. There's, there's a skin tone that you can also adjust on the shape effects. And by the way, this is all about the shape effects tool. So we're going to go over here to our lovely little sequencer and we're going to create an animation. Let's go to our sequencer. Let's bring in this matrix. Boom. There we go. I like it. And let's add an effect on here. The shape effect. How cool is that? Okay, so I'll bring this window over just a little bit. We don't need that much real estate. And as you can see here, there's a lot of things the shape effect has. Uh, one that's pretty cool is the emoji. Now, before you used to have to go look for this, you'd have to go find it in here, but now we have these cool little symbols. And if you double click on that symbol, you can see the other cool ones. And if you want Christmas trees and Santa Claus, you can have them both. I was playing around with the colors so I can make it olive, but it doesn't change the color here, but you can go to your color palette and give it a color. And I was trying to figure this out. It was, it's, it's interesting, the skin tone, I'm gonna need some direction from Dan on this, but you can change these colors and make it this, this, and this. But what I'm not quite sure of, how do I start with a skin tone? Do I have to go over here and find that olive? Uh, maybe I can go with, uh, I don't know, this, and then maybe I can make it lighter. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I get it, I get it. Uh, anyway, if you adjust this, oh, there we go. Now it's put different ones on there. It just, it was the same. So there's my Santa, there's my tree. If I double click here, now I can put a pumpkin on there. And we'll go up, go down. Like, well, there's my pumpkin. Okay, anyway, I think you get the point. Uh, it's a very nifty uh, effect for sequences, for the matrices, uh, maybe even the mega tree. There's a lot you could do here, but I thought it was, oh, look at, look at it fade away. Look at it fade away. Anyway, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, that Dan added these characters, and I love the fact that we can see these emblems, these little icons out here. That helps a ton. Okay, let's get into some other stuff. Enhancements by Keith. Restructure X scan to run without locking up the UI during a scan. Okay, so in my last uh, video, I talked about a couple tools that I like to use, Angry IP Scanner and Advanced IP Scanner. And I've never liked the idea of using X Scanner because it locked me out of everything while it's looking for stuff. There we go, there's all my stuff. But it, this this seems okay. I, I don't know if I'm a fan of this. I still like Angry IP and Advanced IP Scanner. Uh, they're separate from x Lights. I, I don't like putting everything in uh, a basket. It's, I don't put all my eggs in one basket. But if it's a tool and it works for you, fantastic. It is nice that I can go back here while it's searching and work in x Lights. 
that's 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 kind of cool and then the scanner is just a separate window there you go uh next was the enhance in layout show the first pixel of every model in cyan when in 3d okay uh that's cool look at this one here now let's click on it oh there it is cyan matrix you gotta select it oh where's the matrix starting top top left there's that little cyan dot and the star be nice if they would just uh if you didn't have to select it just to see it and there's me starting in the center uh be cool if this worked in 2d as well just just saying uh i don't know if i would well you know for new folks this probably will be helpful anyway i'll take us out of the 3d world and i will get rid of this star bye bye and we're back to the matrix and the love model okay also enhancement by keith show groups and submodels in different colors in model lists on the model groups panel okie dokie let's go take a gander da, da, da. let's go to our hd and let's bring in a rosary insert there we go that looks good and this brought in all the submodels so if we click on one of these you can see the list here they're separated by different colors except that each one of these is not a separate color these are just the sub models uh it'd be kind of cool if you could separate the names of the sub models to make it easier to isolate ring one through ring seven or eight and then so on and so on uh but it's 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 kind of cool but here here's my deal with this if you're still working with submodel groups in here, it's time to leave 1978 and catch up. This is not where you should be creating submodel groups. So I appreciate it. I just don't think people really should be messing around in here. There are much easier ways when working with submodel groups. All right, let's get to our next section. Enhancement, add multi-select to view input. Okay. Um... First of all, view, perspectives, windows, there really wasn't anything here, okay? Uh, so I thought, well, it must be over here, import previews, and you could bring in the X Lights preview and all this stuff, but that's, that's already been there. Then I thought, okay, well, maybe it's over here where you can do, go to your edit display elements and import from a layout file and choose rgb effects and open that up let me scoot you up and then import views well maybe this is it i oh oh you know what i get it scott i get it ignore my message so if i had multiple views in here you would be able to select which ones you wanted or bring them all in. So why is this important? Why, 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 why is this important? Well, this is important if you have views with multiple vendors and they all have their own separate views, but you want to import from an old show into a new show, all of the views. So that's pretty cool. I do dig that. I dig that, I dig that, I dig that. That is pretty cool. So it deserves a highlight, no doubt. Okay, so uh, use the native emoji fonts on Linux OS X and try and don't try to use the Windows specific font. So that's for you Mac users out there, and I'll be one soon. Yeah, good stuff. So here's some other things. Uh, I mark these in red because I have a concern. Bug fixes for a bunch of things for uploading to the V4 Falcon series, and I have my brand new F48 and receivers and i've got some cult stuff on the way and i use both controllers in my show and uh, i'm interested to see what these new ones to do i'm just a little busy to play at this point but what concerns me is forcing all these things on the v4 gamma wave files player modes I, a lot of this has to do with using the v4 as a player which I, is, is cool the cults can be used as players I may be a little old school. Maybe it's just because of what I've used that's always been working for me since 20, I wanna say 17 or 2018 when I switched from X schedule to FPP and never looked back. I have given X schedule opportunities to work in my show. I'm sure it's my fault and I'm sure it's my show's fault, but it just poo-poos on my show every year. 
So I use FPP to run my show and it just never fails. So I like to stick with things that I know work day one. But this, this kind of stuff here, how many, t I don't know how often we're gonna see bug fixes with a controller, you know? Uh, this is very different than a Falcon Pi Player release. So do be uh, mindful of this. I've been seeing errors out there and people sort of uh, barking about uh, having issues with their controllers. We already talked about the fixed duplicate models added to group on import and download. Now it's time to show it. Before I do that, I'll just skip to this. Fix ESP Pixel Stick V3 start channel upload. Thank you, Scott, for that. I know there are people out there that love their Wi-Fi setups, love these ES Pixel Sticks. Let's get to this thing. This, this is what I was most excited about, and I really appreciate Scott uh, hanging out with us uh, last week and, and listening to some of the um, uh, ideas people had and, and, and issues, and I think he's really got a good open ear to the community, which is fantastic and much appreciated. So here we go. Let's get into our sequencer layout. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this and I'm gonna click it again and I'm gonna bring in several Rosa wreaths. So I'm gonna to go to my HD, I'm gonna to go to Rosa wreath, I'm gonna click insert and it's gonna say, do you wanna add the submodels to the existing groups that are here? Yes, please. That's why you don't need to be dabbling down here in the layout, forcing things from the left to the right. It does it here. And then I'm gonna click another one. Yes, and then another one. Yes, and another one. Yes, and another one. Yes, and another one. Uh-oh, it's thinking, hold on. Oh, no, I didn't click it. <laughs> it's not thinking. I'm too slow for it. And another one, okay. So we just have to think, but here's the cool thing. I'm gonna click on this. Uh oh, I just created another one. Hold on, let's create it here. And then I'm going to deselect this. I'm gonna click the one I like that has the best shape. And then I'm going to select these guys here. Right click, resize, match size. They all look brilliant. There's all my Rosa wreaths, all nine of them. How cool is that? And all of the submodel groups are here. Look at that, look at that, look at that. And it didn't create duplicates all the way to nine. That is so appreciated. And it's faster than it ever was. So this is working great. It also works by importing. So if I want to import another love, I can go to my desktop and click on the love. And it will say, do you want to bring those into existing submodel groups? Yes, I do. And looky here, here's the O, outer, inner, outer, inner of love one and two. How cool is that? Folks, that's it. This is a great release. I'll be working with this all day sequencing. If anything changes, I'll report back. Otherwise, it looks pretty doggone good to me. See ya.